a key part of driving this forward is simulation. Simulation generally falls into one of two categories. The first is where the driver physically sits inside and drives the physical model on a virtual circuit. It's a very powerful model if you can design it the right way, but the problem is it's real time, so you can only run so many laps. The second type is called offline simulation. It's a virtual model with a simulated driver, meaning it can operate up to 10,000 times faster, get thousands and thousands of iterations in just a few minutes, and explore the many nuances of speed and maneuverability. But the modeling has to be done very carefully because if the driver is made to be too good, the car could end up undrivable in real life. F1 is bracing for new regulations in 2026 that will reshape how every car in the circuit will be built and engineered with hybrid technology. So as much trial and error as possible is paramount. The acceleration of the technology and efficiency of building lower cost simulators means the access is growing at an exponential rate as well, which also feeds the needs of F1 from the bottom up. The next generation of drivers have grown up being in sims their entire lives, including Lando Norris, one of F1's current top drivers. And next up is another swath of drivers who have even earlier access to even better sim technology. Drivers like Abby Pulling, the young breakout star of F1 Academy. I'll go through the levels with rough costings. Uh, probably the cheapest sim you could get is a, a seat, a set of pedals, and a computer, and you're probably at $5,000. And then it starts stepping up. You can step up to a 10,000, then a 16,000 or 20,000. At 20,000, you're not bad. Probably still don't have motion, just to be really clear, but the steering feels very good. Where you are as a representation of the car is very good. Then you start running out of road there pretty quickly, and you're into a million. And then you start running out of road, there's some steps, and then you're into about 12 to 16 million. Welcome to Formula One teams.